In this video, I will quickly implement dice coefficient from scratch. Uh, this is a very important uh, metric when you are doing segmentation projects with a large set of uh, images. So simply put, dice coefficient is, uh, is pretty much this formula, which is 2 into the area of overlap divided by the total number of pixels in both images and um, more mathematically its uh, uh, expression is this that is 2 into x intersection y divided by x summation y so now i'm going to uh, do the implementation so in this cell obviously all the uh, regular imports and then the actual method dice coefficient y true and y and i have to supply a parameter argument called smooth which is like a very small number for default value i'm giving one and y2 y predict are just two sets of images um, and when you are actually running batches uh, in a deep neural network then it will be a four dimensional tensor uh, uh, the first dimension being uh, the batch uh, number of samples in a batch intersection will be k dot um, y true times uh, y red and smooth us oh, i don't know smooth uh axis will be equal to the second third and fourth axis uh, because the first axis is a batch so one two and three because here in this uh, this method i'm doing for um uh, for a batch uh, batch kind of setup and not for two images individually union will be a dot sum y true axis again will be one two three to that i have to add a dot sum a dot sum y red yeah it makes sense oh why true dear anyway all right i have the intersection and union then just have to implement the formula which is um, uh, return value will be k dot mean uh, 2 into intersection was smooth you have to give this uh, smooth value don't forget that one and division will be uh, union plus smooth yep uh, yeah that's the oh uh, I have to mention the axis over here uh, so that because now I will be summing over the uh, first axis that is a batch axis so x is equal to zero what is the problem with this uh... oh another one here All right, now I have two images uh, saved uh, in my same directory. So let me bring that. Y predict equal to CV2 dot imred. And my image name is image underscore one. So you can imagine this one actually represent the uh, the, uh, the tensor uh, representing the true values and I have to normalize it so 
255 and y2 actually any of them could be uh, this is just an experiment so any of them could be predicted Predic prediction tensor and the other one will be the true tensor cv2 dot i am right all right uh, yeah let's just uh, print their shape because i need to uh, get a four dimensional tensor actually because this method will be accepting only the four dimensional tensor so print uh, y red and also y true dot shape run this all right so this is my image shape and we have a three-dimensional tensor so i need to reshape them so my new y predict will be uh, y red dot reshape minus one the first dimension will be inferred and a second dimension will be just as it is similarly i have to do for the true reshape uh yep makes sense and now also check their shape yeah, so now I have a four-dimensional tensor. The, this additional first dimension was added with this code. All right, now I can check my dice coefficient. Dice will be equal to dice, uh, dice, actually it will be dice score. Dice coefficient, y true and uh, y pred uh, let's also print that oh what happened oh okay i did not run this method yeah so that's my dice similarity or dice actually this is a coefficient C O E F. so that value is 4 dot uh, 0 0.480 so that this dice coefficient is very similar to the iou that is intersection over union metric they both are positively related that is a dice coefficient and iou are positively uh, positively related uh, positively correlated uh, meaning if one says model a is better than model b at segmenting an image that means then the other will also say the same and uh, like iou they both range from zero to one with one signifying the greatest similarity between predicted and the truth uh, oh another thing i just realized that uh, i was doing this entire calculation on the int values integer values but uh, in all projects actually you will be using float values so you can convert this to float values by doing just uh, putting one decimal after two here uh, where we are multiplying by two and also when we are normalizing 255 dot and also 255 dot and that should work let's run all these again uh yep i'm getting the same result uh yeah so now i'm using the float values because in real cases you will most certainly be using float values that pretty much wraps up this uh, very quick video thank you for watching <laughs>